Hello, my name is Jack Arnold. I'm a system engineer with National Instruments. I want to share with you a data acquisition reference application for LabVIEW. The goal of the reference application is to provide a good starting point for LabVIEW development for applications which require acquiring, displaying, and saving of data. Now the first thing we're going to do is configure the application. I load the configuration window. Next I'm going to go ahead and load a pre-configured configuration setting. Here we see we have two main setting types, data acquisition and data storage. Under acquisition there are three ways we can acquire data. It can be from a DACMX device, playback from a TDMS file, or simulated data. In this case we have it configured to acquire four channels from a USB DACMX device. In the data storage tab we provide a directory path and a base file name of where we're going to save our data. And then we hit click done when we're finished. Now that we're back to the main page we click start to start acquiring data. Here we see in the dashboard view a quick view of give us an idea of what's happening with our signals. This provides this is the level of the signal. Here's our time domain view. We have some additional displays up here such as an FFT and a chart. So we can see as we change the displays, change the levels that are updated on the display. Now I can go ahead and start logging some data. I'm going to change the amplitude and frequency as, as we do this. And then stop logging. Close the windows. Now I'm going to go back to the configuration window and change the configuration from DACMX to play back the file that we just recorded. I'm going to select just to play back the first channel and enable it. And then we're done. Alright, now we're just playing back that channel that we just saw. We can open these same displays and look at the recorded data. Now the point of the reference application is not to be a an ending point. It's supposed to be a starting point. So all these things are things that you can extend upon by programming LabVIEW, such as adding displays, modifying the displays that are already there, uh, changing the types of data acquisition sources, whether it be from over Ethernet or just different DACMX devices, um, instruments like GPIB or, or USB, as well as how the data is saved. So all these things are very extendable and I encourage you to read the DevZone document for the data acquisition reference design and reference application which describe how to do that. Thanks.